How's it going fellas, my name is Orosh and this is another episode of Mega Man 3 and in today's episode we're going with Shadow Man. Shadow the Man and he has a stupid shuriken on his forehead. It's like if I put a shuriken on my forehead and call myself a ninja. It doesn't work like that. It just makes me a stupid faggot with a fucking shuriken attached to my forehead, not a ninja. He has a cool music. Ah, oh, fuck those frogs. They aren't frogs, but I call them frogs. It's cool music playing on the stage. That's the best part about it. And there's this guy. This is... Who the fuck are you, man? Gotta glide under him. This thing about defeating this guy. Whoops. And then he disappeared. What is supposed to be a secret boss? Well, he is uh, related to the plot, the character. I think he appears like one more time in someone else's stage. Who was he? Who was that mysterious figure? Also, there are these grenade dudes and... and ah, oh, shit, I can... If they kill them too close to you, they will blow up and do a lot of damage. Like this. I can't see anything. I already lost a lot of health. At least I got this one up. That's not so bad. Wasn't Alec Man in the previous game? Like, uh, no, Alec Man wasn't in the previous game. I don't remember who was. But it was a stage with the gimmick of, you know, uh, lights disappearing. You got health back, that's good. I don't know these guys. I like wait for him to fuck off. There we go. Should be another one. I think I played through the stage so many times when I first played this game that I got like their patterns figured out. This is an annoying part because there are these flying down things and it's sometimes really annoying to get them. And if you get hit, it's really easy to get knocked off into the lab or whatever. This is too late. Oh no. Basically. Alright, I. Oh shit! And then there's another frog. I really hate this, this whole frog thing. I mean, you can't hit them when they are on the ground, they look so fucking smug about it. Stupid assholes. I think they're so cool because they can jump. I can jump. Just that I can jump over enemies. Oh, my head fucking hurts. Oh, Jesus, my brain, I think it's coming out of my nose. I think I'm going to die, oh my god. See, I told you these guys are so annoying, I don't even know what they are, I, can't, I have a hard time describing them, they look like... They look like shit. Can I get this frog to appear? Alright, at least I got it. At least I got through this. These guys are easy to kill. Oh, hello, thank you. Thanks for that, friend. You just have a pattern of going down and following you. Okay, so Shadow Man should be here, so I'm gonna go with the top man's ability. I think that's what his weakness is. I think Shadow Man jumps around a lot. Yeah, he does. How do you use this fucking ability? I have no idea how it works. You jump and then you spin. You can only spin when you're jumping. And I don't even know how to hit normal enemies with it. Like, is it like a really situational weapon, like only for this boss and some other one? If that's true, then that's a really shitty weapon. I don't like that. Fuck that spinning garbage. Shadow Blade and Rushi Marine? Rush Marine. Why did I. I don't know, maybe. Because I'm dumb. Rushi, what the fuck does that even mean? Rush Marie. Alright, so we've done two bosses. I mean, stages. So, see you guys later in the next episode. Bye.